This LOS is describe asset-based valuation models and their use in estimating equity value. Asset-based valuation. An asset-based valuation of a company uses estimates of the market or fair value of the company's assets and liabilities. Thus, asset-based valuations work well for companies that do not have a high proportion of intangible or off-the-book assets and that do have a high proportion of current assets and current liabilities. The analyst may be able to value these companies' assets and liabilities in a reasonable fashion by starting with balance sheet items. For most companies, however, balance sheet items are different from market fair values, and the market fair values can be difficult to determine. So advantage for asset-based valuation can provide floor values, first of all, and it's useful for a firm with most be mostly tangible short-term assets or if the firm is obviously to be liquidated. Disadvantages, ongoing firm value may be greater than the asset value. It does not reflect future cash flows, which again, you might use an asset-based uh, valuation if the firm is going to be liquidated because it's not ongoing. You're gonna, not going to discount future cash flows, okay? Another disadvantage is fair values of assets can be difficult to estimate especially with primarily intangible assets uh, or in high inflation environments. Quick practice question. Asset-based valuation models are best suited to companies where the capital structure does not have a high proportion of A, debt, B, intangible assets, or C, current assets and liabilities. The correct answer is B. Asset-based valuation models are best suited to companies where the capital structure does not have a high proportion of intangible assets. Intangible assets are hard to value. Therefore, asset-based valuation models work best for companies that do not have a high proportion of intangible assets. And one last practice question to finish this LOS. Which of the following is most likely a reason for using asset-based valuation? A, the analyst is valuing a privately held company. B, the company has a relatively high level of intangible assets, or C, the market value of assets and liabilities are different from the balance sheet items. The correct answer for that is A. A is correct. Asset-based valuations are most often used when an analyst is valuing private enterprises. Both B and C are considerations in asset-based valuations, but are more likely to be reasons to avoid that valuation model rather than to use it. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.